Sean Diddy Combs is saying he's sorry two days after a video exclusively obtained by CNN shows him beating Cassie Ventura inside a hotel in 2016. I guess that's what the whole name bad boy comes from that people don't really understand. What is it? What is a bad boy? What makes why did he choose that name? Prepare to be stunned as we delve into the sordid saga of P. Diddy's dark side. In a bombshell reveal, footage has emerged of the music mogul violently assaulting his ex Cassie Ventura in a chilling incident dating back to 2016. Combs is seen shoving, kicking, and dragging his then girlfriend down the hallway. And now he's posted an apology on Instagram. Yes. You read that right. Despite his attempts to bury the evidence, the truth has finally come to light, shedding a disturbing light on Diddy's abusive behavior. The video, obtained exclusively by CNN, paints a harrowing picture of Diddy's aggression as he mercilessly attacks Cassie at the Intercontinental Hotel in Los Angeles. And at one point, he appears to throw uh, what looks like vases at her. Now, this apology video that he posted today is the first time that he has acknowledged this event. Witness him clad only in a towel, chasing down Cassie in a frenzied rage, dragging her to the ground and unleashing a torrent of blows upon her. It's a scene straight out of a nightmare, made even more chilling by the fact that it took years for this footage to surface. But the horror doesn't end there. As Cassie struggles to escape, Diddy's fury escalates, culminating in a shocking display of violence captured for the world to see. And while Diddy may have thought he could buy his way out of accountability, his actions speak louder than any settlement ever could. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. Join us as we uncover the shocking truth behind the facade of fame and fortune. From allegations of rape to a trail of legal woes, Diddy's empire is crumbling under the weight of his own brutality. Brace yourselves for a deep dive into the dark side of celebrity, where power and privilege collide with the stark reality of abuse and manipulation. New lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs bringing some serious claims against the music mogul. The tumultuous saga of P. Diddy and Cassie Ventura began over a decade ago, intertwined with the glitz and glamour of the music industry. Cassie, a rising star under Diddy's bad boy records, found herself ensnared in a web of manipulation and abuse allegedly orchestrated by the very man who catapulted her into stardom. I saw it posted yesterday all over our social media pages. Cassie filed a lawsuit in New York City against Diddy. Yikes. She's claiming she was stuck in a decade-long cycle of abuse. In a lawsuit filed in federal court, Cassie accused Diddy of subjecting her to years of physical, emotional abuse, painting a harrowing portrait of their tumultuous relationship. From claims of forced substance abuse to coercive act with other men, the lawsuit laid bare the dark underbelly of Diddy's empire controlled every aspect of her life. He is accused of frequently beating her and would hide her in hotel rooms for days until the bruising and signs of abuse were gone. Despite vehement denials from Diddy and his legal team, the specter of abuse haunted the mogul's reputation, casting a shadow over his illustrious career. But it was the release of surveillance footage from a 2016 incident at the Intercontinental Hotel in Los Angeles that truly rocked the foundations of Diddy's empire. The video, obtained exclusively by CNN, depicted a horrifying scene of Combs violently attacking Ventura in a fit of rage. Witnesses were left aghast as they watched Combs, clad only in a towel, pursue Ventura down the hotel corridor with ferocious intent. The images captured the raw brutality of the assault as Combs mercilessly struck Ventura, leaving her battered and traumatized. For years, Combs had attempted to bury the truth, but the video served as an undeniable testament to his heinous actions. In the wake of the footage's release, Combs was forced to confront the damning evidence head on. In a video apology posted on social media, he offered a semblance of contrition, acknowledging his responsibility for the abhorrent behavior captured in the video. To reflect on the darkest times in your life, sometimes you gotta do that. I was up. Yet for many, his words rang hollow, seen as a belated and insincere attempt at redemption. Critics pointed to the timing of Combs' apology, noting that it came only after the incontrovertible proof of his violence had been laid bare for the world to see. Meredith Firetog, an attorney for Ventura, dismissed Combs' apology as self-serving, asserting that it was more about salvaging his own reputation than addressing the harm he had caused. The apology, she argued, was a desperate ploy to mitigate the fallout from the damning footage. Yeah, Jessica, it is very difficult to watch. We are actually going to go through it um, and show our viewers what he is apologizing for. Despite his attempts at damage control, the public outcry against comms continues unabated. Fans and observers alike question the sincerity of his remorse, cast in doubt on whether his words are a genuine expression of contrition or merely a calculated par move. In the court of public opinion, Combs finds himself facing mounting scrutiny and condemnation, his once untouchable image tarnished by the stain of his own actions. 
I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. As the dust settles, the fallout from the scandal continues to reverberate throughout Com's world. His fashion line, Seam John, vanishes from the digital landscape, its online presence reduced to a mere ghost of its former self. The disappearance of the brand serves as a stark reminder of the toll that Combs' transgressions have taken on his once thriving empire. Yet, amid the wreckage of his reputation, one question lingers. What will be the ultimate fate of seeing Diddy Combs? With lawsuits looming on the horizon and a federal investigation casting a shadow over his every move, the music mogul finds himself at a crossroads. Can he salvage his legacy in the face of such damning allegations? Or will he be forever consigned to the annals of infamy? Yeah, I think he's being, he, they making a day, he's being humbled right now, which it took a long time. It takes a long time to humble an arrogant person. Rumors swirl like a tempest around Diddy, threatening to engulf him in a maelstrom of scandal and ruin. Whispers in the darkest corners of Hollywood suggest that the damning footage of his assault on Cassie Ventura may just be the tip of the iceberg, with more incriminating videos poised to surface. It's a harrowing thought, one that sends shivers down the spines of those who once idolized the music mogul. But the plot thickens with each passing day as shocking allegations emerge from the shadows, painting a picture of Diddy's dark descent into violence and manipulation. Among the most chilling whispers is the suggestion that Kim Porter, Diddy's ex-wife and mother of his children, may have been another victim of his wrath. Speculation runs rampant as insiders reveal tantalizing details of Porter's tumultuous relationship with Diddy, hinting at a history marred by abuse and coercion. Rapper Mark Curry, a former bad boy artist, has publicly alleged that Diddy was not only physically abusive towards Porter, but also went so far as to wiretap her phone. I do. I think he's very capable of doing it. It's in his character. That's who he is. That's what comes with power. That's what comes with arrogance. That's that's what comes with, you know, what makes him. The revelation sends shockwaves through the entertainment industry, casting a pall of suspicion over Diddy's every move. And then there are the whispers of something far more sinister lurking beneath the surface. Gene Deal, a former bodyguard of Diddy's, has claimed that Porter once slashed the mogul's wrists in self-defense during a violent altercation. So Cassie's story is Cassie's story is Kim's story. The revelation sends shockwaves through the entertainment industry, casting a pall of suspicion over Diddy's every move. The implications are chilling, suggesting a pattern of abuse and manipulation that extends far beyond the confines of a single relationship. As the investigation into Kim Porter's demise takes on new urgency, questions linger about the true nature of her passing. Was it simply a tragic accident, as the official narrative would have us believe, or was there something more sinister at play? As the spotlight intensifies on seeing Diddy Combs and his murky past, fans and critics alike can't help but scrutinize his current relationship with Young Miami. The City Girls rapper, once entangled in the web of Com's world, has found herself implicated in his legal troubles, with shocking allegations surfacing about her involvement in his illicit activities. Rumors swirl like a tempest, alleging that Young Miami served as more than just a romantic partner to Diddy. According to recent court documents filed by Rodney Lil Rod Jones, a producer embroiled in a lawsuit against Com's, Young Miami stands accused of transporting substances for the mogul. Me, you want to know what I do when I act bad? I do what the f I want. The documents paint a picture of a sordid operation with Miami allegedly procuring a substance known as pink snow for comms during rehearsals for the Something in the Water Festival in Virginia. Yet, amidst the swirling allegations and mounting legal woes, young Miami maintains her innocence, vehemently denying any involvement in comms' illicit activities. Taking to social media, she dismisses the accusations as baseless rumors concocted by the internet's insatiable appetite for scandal. You all be going for anything, she declares, pushing back against the tide of speculation. If you're a city girl, go get you a bad boy so you can act bad because we acting bad. Um, the summer, you heard? We just enjoying life, living our best life. But behind the facade of defiance, whispers persist about the true nature of young Miami's relationship with Diddy. Some suggest that she is not acting of her own free will, but rather she too is a victim ensnared in Calm's web of manipulation and coercion. Reports surface of her abrupt departure from Combs' side in the aftermath of Cassie's lawsuit, with sources indicating that she sought distance from the embattled mogul. However, recent sightings and rumors hint at a potential reconciliation between Young Miami and Diddy. Despite their efforts to keep a low profile, whispers in the industry suggest that the pair may have quietly rekindled their romance, casting doubt on Young Miami's purported break from Combs. As fans speculate about the true nature of their relationship, one question looms large. Is Young Miami truly free from Diddy's influence, or is she merely another pawn in his dangerous game? In the turbulent world of celebrity gossip and scandal, the truth remains elusive, obscured by a haze of speculation and intrigue. As the saga of seeing Diddy, 
Combs and his tangled web of relationships unfolds. One thing is certain. The allure of fame and fortune often masks a darker reality where power and privilege collide with the stark truth of abuse and manipulation. And in this high-stakes game of fame, the players must tread carefully, lest they fall victim to the very forces they once wielded with impunity. My life is really, like, going crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Public opinion on the unfolding saga of P. Diddy's alleged abusive behavior paints a bleak picture, with fans and critics alike grappling with the disturbing revelations one fan, echoing a sentiment shared by many, expresses deep-seated concern, stating he loathes women. They are just beards to him, nothing else. Rest in peace, Kim Porter. Additionally, questions swirl regarding the circumstances surrounding the assault captured on video. As one astute observer points out, for your information, if anyone is wondering why no one in the other rooms on the floor heard the commotion or said anything, celebrities will often rent out the entire floor that they are staying on for privacy. Before we close the curtain on this riveting chapter, we want to hear from you, our dedicated viewers. What are your thoughts on allegations against Diddy? Do you believe his apology was genuine or merely a pure stunt? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and stay engaged.